Hey guys, this is Matt for cgtuts.com and in this quick tip tutorial we're going to take a brief look at adding some extra buttons into our Modo UI. Now the two buttons we're going to add are going to sit right above the shader tree in our render tab. The first one will be a render still button and the second one will be a render animation button. So both will emulate functionality found in this menu at the top here. Now the render animation button is kind of special because when you click that, instead of shooting off an animation straight away, it brings up this dialog box and that's something we're going to have to have a look out for later. But first of all, we need to kind of figure out how Modo treats its UI and to do that I've been up all night putting together a very, very detailed uh, image which hopefully will explain it to you and you can see here, I mean it's, yeah, I know, I know, right? Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully this will help explain things a little bit. So first of all we have this container or form view in our case because we're going to be dealing with something called form layouts which I'll get onto in a second. But this container, an example of it, could be this big long thin grey bar at the top and you can see that this stretches all the way from here all the way across to here and this is a container that is currently set to form view. Now within this container we have these buttons and these are all grouped together in something called a form layout. So Basically, you can think of the form layout as wrapping around and grouping all of these objects in here together. So we have the container, which is containing that form layout, and inside that form layout we have all of the buttons and you know the vertices and the drop downs or sliders or any kind of bits of UI that Modo can uh, basically implement. So the important thing to remember is that we have a container, inside which we have a form layout, inside which we have a group of buttons or, or anything else essentially. So back to Modo, we're first going to take a look at how we can split this big long grey container into two containers so that we can have one form layout for these existing buttons and one form layout for the buttons that we want to add in. And to do this, to split this up into two, we're going to come up to the top right corner of this container and in that corner there is a small grey arrow. And if you right click on that and hold down, you bring up this menu here. And at the bottom we have something called viewport controls and within there, if I can get to it, you have split horizontal, and if you select that, you can see the container splits exactly down the middle. Now when we split this, you see that we actually get two copies of the same form layout in both of these containers now. So we have the same one on the left as we have on the right, and this is obviously not what we want, so we're going to have to go in and fix that now. Now first of all, I'm going to quickly drag this across into position, so I'm just going to rest my mouse in the middle. And it's just like uh, resizing viewports or anything like that. I'm just going to drag this across to the right, like so. And if you give it a second and then release, it should be roughly in position. So now this container on the left is pr pretty much exactly as we found it. It's uh, got these buttons in and we can see them all, which is the important thing. So the next step is to blank out this container here. We don't want these existing buttons in there. And to do that, it's back to that little grey arrow. So I'm going to right click on that again and come all the way down to the fourth option and this is form view and this is basically the default state for the container it's saying okay set this to a form view make it completely blank but allow me to put a form layout in there so i'm going to select that and you can see this now goes blank so we're free to put in whatever we want in here now we want to create a form layout which contains two buttons but if we take a look over here on the left you can see that we have something that looks pretty much like that already. We have this model button and this sculpt button. So it would be kind of cool if there was a way we could kind of copy this and then edit it for our own uses. And in fact there is a way that we can do that. If we come up here to the system menu we can find that the second option down is form editor and if you click this this opens up a whole bunch of functionality for us. Now in here we have two sections, we have groups and we have forms and for now we're just going to roll up groups as we're not going to be covering those today. So in the forms drop down you can see a list of hundreds and hundreds of form layouts that ship with Modo by default or maybe a couple that you've added in yourself. Now the one that we're looking for is in here somewhere but a really simple way of finding it is to use this button here which says find form. Now if you click that it will say click in a forms view. We want to come up here to anywhere where it says model or sculpt and click. And what Modo will do is it will look for that button in all of these forms and when it finds it, it will highlight it for us. 
So if I scroll up just a little bit, because I clicked on the Sculpt button, that's now selected, and you can see that this Sculpt button has a Model button above it, which is this guy here, and they're both inside this kind of blue group here, and this is the form layout, and you can see that it's called Model and Sculpt Quick Access. So we have exactly what I said before, we have a little container here, inside which we have the Model and Sculpt Quick Access form layout, inside which we have a Model button and a Sculpt button. So what I'm going to do is basically duplicate this by selecting it, right-clicking and hitting Duplicate, and we now create an exact copy. However, at the moment we can't see anything, and it has the exact same options and kind of settings as this one down here. So the first thing to do is quickly rename it so we know what we're doing. So I'm going to come over here to Label, I'm going to get rid of all of that and call it Render Buttons Quick Access, just to keep everything nice and neat, and then when you click there, this will rename, as you can see just there. Now what we want to do is make this form layout visible in our new container. So I'm going to come up to that little arrow again, right click, and it does sometimes take a little bit to get to it. Then when you do, I'm going to come down to Viewport Settings, and in here you can see a list of all of the form layouts that are available to us. So if we now scroll down, we should see Render Buttons Quick Access, that form layout that we just created. And if I select this now, you can see that we get a Model button and a Sculpt button over here on the right. And the reason we're getting Model and Sculpt is because those are the two buttons within that form layout. So we need to go in and edit those now so that they do the right things. So the first thing I'm going to do is alter the labels of both of them. So I'm going to click on the Model button. I'm going to come over here to Label, and I'm going to change that to Render Still, and hit Enter. And you can see that it alters and uh, updates up here on the right. Then I'm going to click Sculpt, and change that to Render Anim and hit enter, and you can see that that changes as well. However, if we click these guys at the moment, they still do exactly the same as these buttons over here, and the reason for that is that the command attached to the button hasn't changed. So we need to find out the render still command and the render animation command, and we can do that by hitting F5 on your keyboard, and this brings up the command history palette. Now, I realize that this is getting a, a little bit intense right now, and this is just a quick tip, so I'm not going to cover all of this stuff in a great amount of detail for now. It's just kind of a nice introduction to what we're doing. Basically, in the Command History palette, we have five sections. We have undos, history, commands, scripts, and results. But the one we're interested in is commands, and this contains a list of all of the commands that we can use in Modo, and we can use them over here in this command box. So we want to take a look for the render still command, so I'm going to scroll down, and you can see that we have a section called rendering, so I'm going to drop that down, and somewhere in here, you can see that we have a render command, and the description says, render the current frame including only visible meshes and lights, and this is the command that fires when we hit this thing up here. And just to check that, what you can do in the command box is you can double click any command and it will fire automatically. So I'm going to double click render, and you can see that it does indeed fire off a render. So I'm going to click close window to get rid of that guy. I'm going to click this once so that the command appears in this box at the bottom. I'm going to copy it, and then making sure that we have our render still button selected, I'm going to paste that into the command box, replacing what's there. So with that done, I'm going to hit enter, and now if we hit our render still button, you can see it shoots off a render for us. So that button is now completed. It's so another render animation function. I'm going to come back to our command history palette. We're going to look for render.animation, but you can see we have two here. We have render.animation and render.animation dialog. So which one is it? Both of the descriptions say render and animation. So I'm going to double click the first one, and you can see it just shoots off a single render. We don't get that dialog box that we wanted, and as you may have guessed, the animation dialog function is the one that we actually want. And just to double check, we can double click it, and you can see it brings up that dialog box as expected. So I'm going to click Cancel to get rid of that guy. I'm going to click this and then copy the command. I'm going to select our Render Animation button over in the Form Editor and then paste that into the command box, replacing everything that's there. Now if I hit Enter and come up and click the Render Animation button we've created, you can see that dialog button comes up as expected. So now both buttons are doing exactly as we want. So with that in place, I can close the Command History palette. I'm going to bring this over a little bit, and you can see that our Render button's Quick Access has a little star next to it. And basically this is telling us that it's kind of a user form, and it would be a good idea to save it, essentially. So, with the Render button's Quick Access form selected, what we can do is come up to Save Form, and you can basically uh, save this wherever you want. So I'm going to come down and just randomly save it. 
over here. This sounds about good. You can see I've done this once before, so I'm going to call it renderbuttons.config.cfg. And this just uh, kind of gives us a form that at any point we can import into our new installation of Modo. So with save form done, you can hit OK. And then it's always a good idea to come up, click File, and save your config as well. And this just makes sure that uh, when you reload Modo, everything loads up as expected. So that is that done. We now have a nice render still and render animation button above our shader tree. Now, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope it opened up a little bit of possibilities for you and that I didn't go too quickly in a couple of places. It's a, a very in-depth topic, and I realize covering it in short bursts uh, can be a little daunting, but I think there's enough stuff in there to get you creating a couple of other buttons and different layouts in your Modo UI. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Bad Granola. That's B-A-D-G-R-E-N-O-L-A. -E and, uh, yeah, until next time, cheers, guys.